hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about battery life and performance of ios 16 beta 5 on my iphone 10r i know that i took a long time to test out the battery life and performance but you know i wanted to test out the ios 16 beta 5 battery life and performance with the sim card itself on my iphone 10r so with these five days i have just tested out the battery life and performance and used all the application that i regularly use on my primary iphone so all of you who have requested for this video do watch this video till the end so that you can get to know how this update is going for iphone 10r so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys without further wasting any time first thing i want to talk about with this ios 16 beta 5 update one new feature came to newer iphones like iphone 12 and iphone 13 13 pro max is the uh, feature which says battery percentage so this is a screenshot and i have the update on my iphone 12 but right now i don't have the iphone 12 with me so i'm just showing you with the screenshot so it says battery percentage and when you turn this on as you can see it shows the battery percentage and one more thing is that if your battery percentage drops below 20 percent and somewhat like you turn on the low power mode then automatically this battery percentage will be shown here so that's a new thing but unfortunately the older devices like iphone 10r iphone 11 or even the newer devices like iphone 13 mini or 12 mini did not have this update but i'm hoping that in future when apple will release ios 16 so they will provide that battery percentage feature to all the iphones because it's not a big thing it's just a battery percentage uh, that they are mentioning that is included in the battery symbol so that's one thing now without further wasting any time let me go to the settings and let me go to the battery and let's have a look at the battery health so i've been using this iphone 10r for a long time it's it's going to be almost three and a half years that i'm using this iphone 10r but as you can see the battery health is 89 percent and i used iphone 10r for about one and a half years as my primary device so i had a substantial amount of battery health drop that time but after that since I've moved to other iPhones like iPhone 12 and iPhone 13. So this has been uh, since then till now my secondary device. So I don't use this device as much as I do my primary iPhones. So probably that is why the battery health uh, drop is less. Now let's have a look at this battery graph. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I have tested the iPhone 10R with the a geo sim in india so i have been using this iphone with the uh, geo sim which i have inserted as a physical sim card now as you can see the battery screen on and screen off time so for last 24 hours as you can see the screen on time is 2 hour 43 minutes and screen off time is 1 hour and you can see that the battery consumption for different apps like Instagram and then uh, food applications, then phone, Geekbench 5, Mail, these are the applications that consume my battery life. Now, if I talk about last 10 days, actually uh, last 10 days would be wrong because I have been using this device properly with the SIM card for last five days, but still you get the idea. It says the average screen on time is one hour, 11 minutes and uh, the screen off time is one hour, 27 minutes. Let's dive a little deeper. So if I take an example of yesterday, as you can see from the graph itself, so I've used about 55% of my battery of the iphone 10r yesterday and for that i have gotten a screen on time of you know at about uh, 2 hour 37 minutes if i could show you as you can see so for yesterday the phone has been used till 55 to 60 percent and for that i have gotten a screen on time of about 2 hour 37 minutes now considering if i would have used my phone till 100 percent I would have gotten a screen on time of about five hours or between five to five and a half hours so i would definitely say you know the last video i made about ios 16 beta 4 the battery life with iphone 12 that i tested it was terrible it was not even getting me through a day i had to charge twice literally my iphone so in that perspective i would say that the battery life has been improved with ios 16 beta 5 
I have been now testing iOS 16 beta 5 primarily on my iPhone 10R and iPhone 12. I would definitely say iOS 16 beta 5 an improved version of iOS 16 from beta 4 what we had before. Now talking about the performance, performance is good. I didn't notice uh, as such any hiccups or lag here and there. But what I noticed is sometimes you know if you press the SOS key like if you press like this sometimes some bugs will come up here and there as you can see right now it's coming up properly but sometimes it will just overlap the icon so that will happen and you know here and there but talking about the app crashes i did not notice as such any app crashes although i've used like many applications so the native applications of course do work fine but the other applications like uh, banking applications also did work fine for me at least few of them like icici and hdfc did work fine for me now also few of you were interested in the geekbench 5 scores so i have run that yesterday night so if i uh, click on cpu and then history uh, if i go there as you can see with ios 16 beta 4 the single core score was 1108 and the multi core score was 2314 now if i talk about ios 16 beta 5 uh, so it is kind of a similar the single core performance is more or less the similar the single core is 1107 but the multi core score has been improved so it is a substantial amount of improvement that we are able to see on geekbench 5 as well so the multi core score is 2744 i always say this that don't take geekbench uh, 5 scores as uh, you know seriously just take it as a pinch of salt so you know the real world performance would be very very different from what you see on the geekbench 5 score but then again uh, just to check out the performance and just to compare how the performance and the benchmarking scores are coming out with different beta versions i use this geekbench 5 score so talking about the performance performance is good so there are no as such lags and since i have started using this phone with a sim card properly so you know i have used this phone in multiple conditions i've used this phone uh, you know talking to a friend over an hour and then i've used this phone while driving you know navigating map through apple carplay so so those conditions are tested and tried so it works really fine so my conclusion would be if you want to upgrade to ios 16 beta 5 then if you are on beta 4 then definitely it's a welcome upgrade because many of the bugs and many of the battery life issues have been fixed i definitely would feel that but if you are on ios 15 then i still feel that this should not be your primary uh, software experience ios 16 there are still refinements and improvement that needs to be done and at the time of recording this video the ios 16 the public release would be just a month away so you can definitely wait for ios 16 public release don't go for ios 16 beta software as of now at least the developers betas that i have been trying and testing out so don't go for that so that would be my take on ios 16 beta softwares whether you need to install or you can skip this update so then again i hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel remember if you do like the video and subscribe it means a lot for me and it motivates me to make more of such kind of content on youtube so then again with that being said i will see you on my next video bye bye